Welcome back, my peeps. Got another fun, cute tutorial for you guys. So, according to my uh, internet search, today the moon pie was born in Chattanooga, Chatter I wrote it down. <laughs> In Chattanooga, Tennessee, April 29, 1917, the moon pie was born. So, you know, other people, they'll go out and eat some moon pies, but we gonna fake us some moon pies. So, I got moon pie right here, you know, in my little, in my little, um, because, you know, you have to do your research and stuff. See the moon pie? This is a fake moon pie. I already faked one. And it fit perfectly in here. Now this is the real one. But you see it? That don't look good. Now this look good. So you know. Anyways, I did use a... I bought a fake... I mean, a real one. So I could fake it. Because, you know, I had to look at it. So we just going to leave that right here. And we're going to leave our fake one right there. You see that? Mm-hmm. Moon pie. But anyways, um, what you're going to do, got to get you some clay. I got my, um, my, uh, call these. Here I go. Starting already. Lord help me. Um. Go get you some clay, right? It don't matter what clay you use. Whatever air dry clay you got. You got Model Magic. You got Play Code 3. You got some from Amazon. Whatever. It doesn't matter, okay? Use what you have. Got to condition. That's the one thing you still have to do is condition the clay. Make it nice and malleable. And ready to do what it do. Right? So, I got my little painter stick here to guide me. Because I want them to be a certain thickness. Okay, so let's look at this moon pie. I don't want to grab it with my hand because the chocolate is going to melt. But if you look at this moon pie, it has like the thin, the two... Um, the marshmallow is thicker than the two pieces that sandwich it. You see that? So you kind of got to um, make the tops a little thinner than the marshmallow. And another thing, this top piece is facing up, but this bottom piece, if you notice, is flat. And the rounded part is up. So you're going to put the, round, the right side up, marshmallow. Then you're going to flip it and put the right side hitting the underneath the marshmallow. So it kind of lays flat you'll see what i'm talking about i don't be explaining myself too well but i'm gonna show y'all what i mean so anyway you get you some clay and the reason why i put it between these two sticks is because i want the thickness to be even so this um is a mini moon pie i got these from Dollar Tree. So this one is about. Oh, here I go again. Let's see. I think I did measure it, but I forgot. So it's about two inches. So you could get you a cookie cutter. This cookie cutter is like three inches. And that's what I'm going to use because I like that size. And if you wanted to get you some of these mini pies, this will fit in there and you could just, you know, fool people and make them think it's a real moon pie. So, you're just going to cut some of these out. As many moon pies as you feel you're going to make. And always cut around because sometimes if you lift this up, it sticks to it and it's going to get stuck together. And you're just going to have to make another one. So, like, if you get it inside your... um cookie cutter and it's going to be hard to take out this is what i did i took it and i just kind of like tap it and it comes out the other way and you good because if you try to dig in there or push it 
it's going to leave that impression that you don't want. So I think that's good because I already, you know, you know, I already have some made. But I just wanted to show you. All right. See, if you touch it, it sticks. But anyway, I got some here that's already made, dry, ready to go. And that's what we're going to use. But I still need a little piece of this because I'm going to make, I got to make my marshmallow to go in the middle of the moon pie. But I'm going to put this away because this air dry clay, this is from Play Co. 3. And this air dry clay, it does dry out pretty fast. Like I made these yesterday and they already dry. Not like Model Magic. It takes a little bit longer for Model Magic to set up. But I still love Model Magic. So you're going to get you a little piece. Now this is the part. You're going to have to try to figure out how much. Because you want it to be thick. But not too thick. You see this when I made the marshmallow in the middle too thick. Like. Because you want it to be thicker than the cracker part. But not too thick. Even though this one. it Listen. Let's see this one. Because this one is kind of a little bit thick too. But I don't know. I don't think it makes a difference. It still looks like a moon pie. But anyways. So remember, you're going to take one facing up, and the other one is going to face down. And that's going to be your, well, they can both face up, but only one is going to go on top face. Yeah. Lord Jesus, help me. All right, I think this is too much. So I'm going to just try it. The only good thing about that is that these are already dry. So if you put the clay on top of there you could kind of still take it apart so i'm gonna just smash it down a little bit and then i'm gonna take it down because you want the um you know make sure your your circle is rounded and that is big enough to fit in the space that needs to be fit you know put in so i think this is good is not too thin and not too thick so I'm going to take it. Remember, I'm going to keep this facing down. And we're going to put our marshmallow on top. And then we're going to take the top one and we're just going to put it straight on top. And look. See your moon pie? So then, right, what I did, and you don't have to, but I did... I took a paintbrush and I painted it. I painted it chocolate. Dang, I done messed this bottle up. Chocolate sprinkle, I'm sorry. It's chocolate arrow bar apple barrel chocolate sprinkle. I painted that and then I got this little moon pie, right? But after I painted it, I was looking at it and I'm like... You know what? This don't, cause I, I it look it was just like this. Well, I was like, it really don't. I don't know. It's like missing something. So you know what? I decided to do the the mixture of cork, uh, Mod Podge, and paint. And I got some right here. So that's it. Paint, Mod Podge, and cork. Which I got from Dollar Tree. Mix that together. I don't have any precise measurements. You just mix it up. Until you get something like this. Hold on. Let me get my loose air stick here. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like. For those of you who have not seen it or done it. So basically you're going to get something like this. And it just looks like melted chocolate. And it's basically basically going to be the coating that's going to go on this. And I also got a skewer to hold it. To hold it while it dries. And it's going to make a tiny hole 
But once this is dry and you take it off and you pull out the skewer, just fill in that hole with some of that mixture and you'll be good. So I'm going to put the skewer in there. I got my brush over here. I'm going to grab right now. I'm going to put it on with a brush this time. I know I usually put it on, um, like dip it in there basically. But I don't want to do it like that this time because I want to kind of for it to look like a moon pie. You know, like a moon pie has te texture and stuff. So I kind of wanted the moon pie to have a little bit of texture too. So I'm going to use a brush. Now this brush is like a black regular bristle brush. And as soon as you finish using this, you got to wash it right away. Or if you don't care about it, you can throw it out. Whatever. I'm just letting you know that once you stick it in there and you use this mixture, this brush will never be the same again unless you clean it right away, okay? So basically, I'm just going to take some and just start putting it on there. See, it already makes like a difference. You see that? It just, something about it was missing and I was like, something, it just don't look right. So then I've tried one with this mixture on it and i was like yeah that's what it need it need to look like a real chocolate coating you know so that's what i'm gonna do so we could get us some moon pies who like moon pies i don't really care for moon pies i could live without them but i had to fake it you know that's the fun part, trying to fake something and make it look. I did ask my daughter if it looked like a moon pie. She was like, yes, it does. I was like, well, then, okay. I'll do the tutorial. Because I don't want it to, like, not look like a moon pie, you know? So, basically, you're just going to go around. Make sure you get all inside, underneath. Cover it up. You need a little bit more for the top. And there you go. It's covered up. Your moon pie. Now, stick it in your skewer and you let that dry. And like I said, you got to let your, uh, ooh, your, um, you got to wash your brush out as soon Quickly, quickly. Make sure you wash your brush right away. And let me get a, a wet wipe here. Because you don't want to ruin your brush. You can use it again for another project. So, right, you let it. You let it dry. This skewer is so tall. <laughs> you can't even see what I was. Let me cut it down a little bit. Put it in your foam board. And you let that dry. And then you're going to get this. A moon pie. You can make them as thin, as thick as you want. But I went, I just looked at a real one. And even though, I mean, I didn't want the marshmallow to show. But I did look at a real one. I bought the whole box. And I took the rest to work. Let my co-workers eat them. But if you buy it from Dollar Tree and you make a two or a three inch one. It fits perfectly in this packet. And now you have moon pies. Right? I think this is perfect. Be like, you want to you wanna bite of my moon pie? Here you go. Bite it. Psych! But make sure when you open... I didn't, like... <laughs> I didn't take my time, obviously, to... I wasn't thinking that I didn't have any more packages because, like I said, I took them to work, so I only had one package, and I'm like, okay, sin, you really didn't have to be a savage opening the pack, but still and all, <laughs> I just wanted to show it to you guys. Moon pie. I wanted y'all to, um, you know, have a moon pie on the day on moon pie's birthday, which was April 29th, 1917, again. It was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee, according to the information I found online. Now, you know, you can't, I don't, listen, I'm just going by what I, what I saw online and I really wanted to make some moon pies for you guys. So here you go. 
Say happy birthday to the moon pie. <laughs> so guys, I decided that I wanted to make one of these moon pies with a bite taken out of it. So I'm going to attempt that. Let's see how it goes. See, I took the um, skewer out of here and it got a hole. I'm going to just cover that up with a little bit of this. But since I decided to take a bite out of it, I'm just taking up the bite out of where the hole is. This one has a hole too. Can you just fill it up? I'm going to show you. Let me get my... um. Got a little bit of thing right here. Show you all you gotta do is take some of it and put it right in that hole. Cover it up, and it'll be just fine. Just let it dry real good. And cover the hole up, okay? Just let that dry real good. Leave it alone, put it to the side. But this one over here, I'm going to um, I'm gonna take the bite out of where the hole is at, so I don't have to worry about that one. And we gonna see how it looks. Let's see if it's a if it's a pass or fail. So I got some a little bit of um, classic caramel because when I cut the bite out, it's gonna be white. Right, and I'm gonna try to paint the um, uh, cause you know, uh, moon pie is nothing but two graham crackers, marshmallow, and chocolate. So I'm gonna try to see if I could paint the cookie part to look like a graham cracker, and let's see what happens. So you could use a metal cutter. I don't, I have a metal cutter, but I'm gonna use the cutters that I have right here. Cause this has like a rounded, like a scalloped edge. You see it? And I just want a straight cut. So I don't know which size. Cause I don't want the hole to be, I mean, I don't want the cut to be too big. Cause this is a small one compared to this size. You see this? Two different sizes. This was the one that's in the package right here. But I didn't want to take a bite out of this one. Even though I should take a bite out of this one, but... I'm going to attempt to take a bite out of this one. So basically, you just gonna, I'm just going to go right on the edge. I don't want a big bite out of it. And we're going to see how this comes out. I might have to push down a little hard because you see it? I think I... Uh, so now I'm going to just paint the, the graham cracker part and see how that looks. And it's classic, cl classic caramel that I'm using. And this, this bottle needs to go <laughs> in the trash. It's already like empty, almost empty. So you got to be careful. Make sure you just get the graham cracker part. You don't want to cover anything else but the graham cracker part. After I let them dry, I was like, you know what? I should do one with a bite taken out of it. Just so we could see the inside. It looked like a graham cracker. Right? So they, then I was like, you know what? Let me just do it. Because if not, it's going to stay in my head. And plus, we want one with a gra with a, with the bite taken out of it, don't we? Yeah, be very careful that you don't get the marshmallow part. Look. <clears throat> I don't want to put too much paint because I don't want it to look too fake. I mean, it is a fake thing, but... I'm going to make some fake bakes. That's really going to look a little cheesy. But we just going to go for it. Because sometimes, you know, it just looks cute. Like, even though it's not 
Well, we know it's fake, but um, you know what I'm saying. All right, so that's your bitten moon pie. What you think? I feel like I got a little bit of paint over here. No, that's good. Yep, that's it. So, if you want to take a bite out of yours, make sure that is dried a hundred percent. First of all, make sure that your marsh um your marshmallow <laughs> your um your clay your air dry clay is a hundred percent dry too because you don't want to smash down on it and the clay is still soft and it's just gonna flatten okay you just want to make sure everything is dried a hundred percent so that you can um make your cut and it'll look good so basically this is what it's gonna look like hold on one second let me get a plate Okay, I want you to see how it's gonna look. I have a little plate right here. So you're gonna put your moon pie, moon pie, then you're gonna put the one with the bite right on top. You see that? You can make as many as you want with the bite taken out of it. That's totally up to you. So guys, until the next video, Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on crafting. Because I don't know what life would be without crafting. It's, I mean, like, it's constantly on my in my mind, 24-7. Even before I started making YouTube videos, I, I craft. I crafted. I did so many things, as I told you guys before. And now it seems like Fake Bake has taken over my life. You know, but y'all keep doing what y'all do. Whatever makes you happy, you keep doing it, all right? Talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.